Hi everyone and welcome to Daily with Ali podcast, your daily dose of wisdom. For those of you who are new to the podcast, the purpose of our podcast is for us to learn to be better humans one day at a time. Every episode we will explore a wise quote or intriguing idea that will expand your emotional intelligence and soften your heart. This being said, let's get into it. The wise quote of today is, givers need to set limits because takers rarely do. End of quote by Rachel Walkin. Now, this is a very sensitive situation in which probably a lot of us find themselves. Boundaries is a word with a heavy meaning in my own personal journey towards healing and inner peace. And today I want to invite you to ask yourself as well. How often do you feel that it is taken of you more than you are willing to give? How often do you feel depleted after interacting with someone? How often do you agree to say or do more than you feel comfortable with? Saying no does not come naturally to a lot of us, but who is going to decide when it's enough for you, if not you? Truth is, most people focus on themselves and their needs, and when they reach out to you, little do they know about your limits until you share them. It is human nature to be self-absorbed, so instead of becoming resentful of others who come and take more of ourselves than we are happy to give, what about bringing to their awareness our own boundaries? Let me share with you a real-life example that you can use to test your ability to share your boundaries. So, if one of your friends would call you and say, Hey, can I please leave my kids with you for three hours after school today? Which one of the next two phrases will you feel more comfortable to reply with? Number one, I'm so sorry, I would love to help you, but today I have an appointment with a dentist at that time. And number two, I'm so sorry, I would love to help, but today I scheduled some time aside for myself. For most people, it is easy to say no when they have what they call a serious reason to say no. But when you have come to peace with who you are and you are respecting yourself, you are able to say no without feeling guilty, even if you use the time you were asked to trade to just be with yourself, have a bath or read a book. Way too often we overlook our own needs and stretch to sacrifice for others when the reality is that, by doing that, we will end up feeling drained or even worse, resentful of those who ask. It is not a fool he whom asks, but he whom gives. Again, givers need to set limits because takers rarely do, said Rachel Walkin. So remember, you are the only one who knows yourself. You are the expert on yourself. You are the only one who can teach others how to treat yourself. So be a good teacher. Be kind, yet firm in your decisions. Let everyone know where they end and where you begin. This being said, I want to thank you again for taking the time to tune in and listen. Make sure to subscribe for more and share in the comments below any topics that you would love me to tackle in the next episodes. I'm Elisa and until next time, remember, you have all the answers deep within. My mission is to take you there. <laughs>